Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for being here today to this new episode of Music with Nick. So today um, we're going to do a marathon by uh, requested by Roundabout. I'm very excited because these bands, um, there's one particular person that I do know uh, on, I would almost say on a personal level, um, but the four bands that we're going to do, I have no idea of. Uh, so I'm super excited to do this. Thank you again, Roundabout, for sponsoring the video. And uh, here we go. Um, uh, we're going to do um, the first band is called Arzakel or Arzakel. Arzakel. I'm sorry. If I'm butchering these names, I do apologize. I'm. It's in the description. Um, if you're a fan of this um, band, you'll know. Uh, or Zackel, uh, or Zackel, I don't know. Um, so the uh, this came out in 1969. Wow. Okay. And we're gonna do Garden of Earthly Delights. It's a very short song, but um, I'm sure it's good. Then we're gonna do the band Egg. I have heard of them because I remember the cover was literally an egg. Um, this is a visit to Newport Hospital. This is from the album. The Polite Force, 1971. Now, here comes the one, Steve Kahn. I, Steve Kahn, I know. Uh, I've talked to him on the Alan Holdsworth group, and we had a friend in common who passed away a couple of years ago uh, who basically would see me play, and then he would be like, hey, you know, why don't you do this and that? And then he also told me to get these picks. So I have literally, like, like... 20 to 30 bags of these picks laying around the house. And I that's the only pick that I use. That's the pick that Alan Holdsworth used to use. Um, yeah, I can't even play with anything else nowadays. It's one millimeter thick. And it's the way it is. It's not, they don't chip off, you know. Uh, sometimes a pick just breaks in half. These, it doesn't happen. It's like, I don't know what, what they use. Um. I, I mean, it says nylon, you know, nylon. So it's not like just a plastic pick and it's just the perfect thickness. And it's, I don't know. <laughs> I've been playing with these picks for the last six years. And every time I grab a different pick, I can't like, I can't even play anymore. So uh, this is a Steve Kahn, um, a little backstory. Um, and then, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> okay. Scratch all this, okay, because it says con, and then it says, you see how, like, I'm how unaware I am? Uh, so it says con as a band, and Steve Hillage, so it's not Steve Con, but well, you know, if Steve Con watches this, he's gonna giggle, I guess. And then Dave Stewart, okay, this is gonna be Stargazers, and the album is called Space Shanty. All right, 1972. So this whole Steve Kahn thing was, I guess, you know, <laughs> you know I just saw the name and I, I started to talk. So that's that's what happens. And this last one is National Health called, uh, the, the song is Dreams Wide Awake. And the album is Of Cues and Cures, 1978. Now, going back to Steve Kahn really quickly before we start with the video, with the music, is because... It's a big deal for me that I knew him, and then I found out that he played this amazing solo on on uh, uh, on Glamour Profession by none other than Steely Dan. Yeah, exactly. So when I heard that solo, I was like, "Wow, that is a good solo," you know. And then it's like, "Oh, played by Steve Kahn." Of course, you know. Of course, it was by played by Steve Kahn. Okay, so here we go again. Thank you so much, Roundabout for this request um let's get right into the music here we go i love the 60s and 70s um i don't even know what to call this we will find out you know like um i love that roundabout sends me these requests uh and i've already credited him once the way he does it he literally does um he makes a a marathon on spotify just sends me the link and it's already like literally just click you know and it starts so thank you again because it saves me a lot of time that's why i guess you know i also feel like i can make the intro a little bit longer because you saved me so much time so i do appreciate it thank you very much here we go 
Garden of the Earthly Delights. Very suddenly, you know, it stopped, but I, I get it. Um, so I'm, I'm looking here uh, on um, Prague Archives. So it says, originally known as Oriel, because I, I Googled it and it was like Oriel. And I was like, okay, so I guess. And then carried on as egg. Okay, so it all makes sense now uh, that... And then also it says, really cool here, it says... Um, People also search for Khan, national health. So literally everything we're going to do. So this is, I guess, a, um, uh, a marathon, but with a deeper meaning here. Yeah, here's this egg cover. Oh, wow. People also search for yes. So it has a little bit of, you know, um, what do they call this Like on this website? I know that sometimes, you know, everybody has their... Uh, it says founded in London, UK, 1967. Um, and then the span at 69 carried on as egg until 72. Mm. Explosive psychedelia by English group. The sound of sustained keyboards and guitar passages. What I loved about the, 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 the organ was that very Baroque, Doodle 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 doodle. like this pe uh, this these pedal notes that like Bach does a lot like that was really cool I was gonna mention it and then I never paused the song um but yeah it, it's just like it's it's what happens when songs are too short but okay talking about short songs this is a very long song the next one this is egg um um a visit to Newport Hospital but I what, what I loved about the first song it, it did remind me of like you know that s late 60s um music like I guess the the one, the only one that I would really know is like Iron Butterfly but it did sound it had a little bit of like a hint of um 
uh, like the first, um, the first uh, record. Let's see. What? What's going on here? Um, yeah, so the first record of Renaissance. Uh, so, you know, Renaissance, Iron Butterfly, you know, this very classical approach, like almost like neoclassical, like classical music interjected into rock, you know, what like um, Deep Purple was doing, you know, these passages, you know, very, very obvious definitely drive it right there that's a literally a scale from i don't know what any like bach piece you know like the the harmonic minor scale and, and stuff like that but yeah let's do now egg a visit to newport hospital the polite force 71 so this is basically the same band let's go Distortion. Just saying really quickly, this distortion is heavy for being, you know, from the 70s. This sounds like, like it sounds like distortion. This does not sound like overdrive. This sounds like, or like fuzz, or this is distorted. It's awesome. <laughs> here just amazing it says um so i i don't know like i have no idea why but the the fact here is um something really really cool it says um one of the first bands from the canterbury school soft machine or hatfield and the north a soft machine was of course you know alan holdsworth's first not really first but he was in that band for a while, but that was more like a jazz fusion prog, you know, um, so cool. And I and talking about Canterbury, Canterbury Hill, uh, I think, was it Canterbury Hill? Because. Yes. Um, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Salisbury. Salisbury. We went to see Peter Gabriel yesterday. I thought it was Canterbury, but I, I could have sworn that he had a song called Canterbury something, but this is Salisbury Hill. Beautiful, beautiful concert yesterday. It was just amazing to see 
Peter Gabriel yesterday, but we'll talk about that later. Um, this sounds amazing. The bass player, who is the bass player on this record? And by the way, this has five stars on the um, Prog Archives site. Super highly rated. Um, who's? Ooh. Mont Campbell. Wow. Well, he plays like everything. Bass, vocals, organ, piano, French horn, brass. Wow. This is amazing, this band. Really cool. I'm loving it. It sounds really like this is the stuff that I listen to in my when nobody I guess this is like the stuff that I would listen to that I know nobody likes you know because it's just too out there this is exactly the music I like <laughs> singing i love it and it's so uh, with this music i don't know i just have like this knack for you know when i do my little like air bass and i once did that in a pat metheny song and then the guy <laughs> well one guy he's like you've heard this before because why do you know what notes he's gonna play and i was literally just like what i what would i play you know what would i like do and it's just like so funny because he actually thought I'd heard it before. I wish, I guess I got very, very lucky, you know. Um, but sometimes it's kind of obvious when you're going to do a thrill or a vibra when you're going to vibrate or when you're going to play like a slide, you know, up and down or like change um, to a different scale. It's almost like because I'm listening to the chord changes, I know what the bass player is going to do because he's already being so, um, he's being so spontaneous and he's, improvising so i kind of like i do what i would do and then I, sometimes it does match you know i just get lucky so just for the people who think i've listened to this before no never ever let's go with the let's go back so we can listen to the voice Time avoiding skinheads and the lawn. It was a freedom that we never felt before. And now we're doing this
So dark, so beautiful. If I would have heard this, you know, when I was like 16 years old, I think I would have become a bass player. Like literally, this is super inspirational stuff. And yes, I do have a bass and I do know how to play the bass, but not like a bass player. Being a bass player and being a guitar player are 100% different opposites. It's basically just, it's like driving, knowing how to drive, but I mean, it doesn't make you a specialist you know in race cars and a normal car or i don't know because it's because it the technique is different uh i don't know maybe the scales are the same you know the music theory is applicable the same way but i mean just the whole slapping and doing and it's different it's so different um so yeah it's funny when guitar players want to give bass lessons because no, it's not the same. Um, this was wonderful. This was one of the best pieces of music I've heard in a long time. So interesting. Super jazzy. I love the drumming. Unpredictable. The guitar work, the keyboards, the bass. It was just fantastic. Super proggy. I'm going to do one more at the end of the marathon. I guess just the second song, you know. Uh, why not? You know, um, it's not... It's. It's a bit a little up on the on the lengthier side, but hey, I don't care. This is good stuff, definitely. Um, all right, so now Stargazers, Khan, Steve Hillage, and Dave Stewart. Um, not Steve Khan. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. It's hilarious that I made that mistake. <laughs> So this sounds literally like, you know, the bands that I listen to, but just from now, you know, like really, really out there, like, you know, Blotted Science. Like, I maybe I should play some Blotted Science for you guys. It is a lot, you know, but I'm sure that Roundabout would appreciate it. Maybe just to make it a little bit more, you know, 
instead of playing another egg song, we can do an entire egg marathon, you know? Like, I would love to sit down with Alexia and show her this. Um, but this... You know, that kind of stuff, that's like the stuff that I listen to. Like, by myself, you know, like, cut off from the world. <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding. Um, because it, no, but nobody really likes this music. It's just too out there. I get it, you know. I didn't like this music, you know. When I first heard it, I was like, what is, what is that? What's going on? It's not like, and now, you know, then you understand where this is coming from and how hard it is to play, too. It's, it, just, it doesn't just sound weird. It's also hard to do. You know, so uh, let's go. Open your eyes if you dare. Future comes, only knowing that you'll share. Suns and moons, many cycles, miles of days. Your love shines like a beacon through the haze. So this album has a 4.29 on, uh, you know, Prog Archives. That's pretty much like the highest rating. Like I've never really seen a five. This is an essential, a masterpiece of progressive rock music. Um, and it says another one of those albums that is that is a prime example of the uh, fats, fastest of Canterbury style prog. Like I'm going to get into this, you know, uh, Canterbury Prague, like what where has this been all my life you know honestly i love this stuff okay sorry that i'm interrupting but i you know i just have to speak my mind otherwise i'm gonna go insane <laughs>
That's insane. Um, why does nobody talk about these guitar players? Why do I only hear Jimi Hendrix? Why do I only hear, you know, uh, it's so frustrating, man. Literally, Steve, um, let's see here. Steve Hillage. And I looked on him and I, I looked on his website and he's like, I mean, can you hear how good he is? in 1972 like the the chops he has on that's almost like it's almost the people got punished uh for being good you know and if you were commercial then you became a legend you know that's what it's wrong that solo by dave stewart on the organ organ right now beautiful you know that's why i i'm a little bit annoyed with guitar player uh you know, lists, because it's always Jimi Hendrix, and I have nothing against Hendrix. I think he plays beautiful blues. Um, but I mean, this, you know, this is just a d another level. Um, like, why don't we hear more about these players? Where are they? Where are they on the lists of, you know, top players? Why do I see Brian May and Jimmy Page and, and you know, and, and Eric Clapton? Why? You know, because they sold a lot of records. That's amazing. I, I think that's amazing. But w what about players that actually defy, you know, the uh, what's humanly possible, you know, like Holdsworth. Like, that's always like, why didn't the man get more credit? I mean, the only genius who saw this man's potential was Van Halen, literally, you know. Um, and it's so cool because these people like played in Gong where Holdsworth was also playing, man, that's just, that's always going to be my issue with like, I know that what sells and what made the most money has the most status as a legendary, like, you know, like, it's like, for example, Metallica. Um, I was just talking to a good friend of mine. I'm not going to say names because that's private, but um, we were like, I get, like Metallica. I love Metallica. Don't get me wrong. Metallica is literally one of my favorite bands. But if you like pitch them against other bands, there's other bands and they're better. They're more talented. They're just better players. They have better lyrics. But who has sold more? M Metallica. That's why they have the status, you know, as the biggest metal band. But what about the other bands that are literally better musicians, better writers, better on the guitar, better at playing riffs, like Anthrax, Megadeth, you know? It's just so crazy. Like, why does always the the person that made the most amount of money has to be the best? Why do they measure success in in money, you know, instead of, like, talent? So, yeah. I guess my little rant, you know, it wouldn't be a Nick and Lex video. <laughs> okay, this was amazing. I'm super happy that I discovered Egg... And then the band, you know, Arzake, Arzakel, I think, Satchel, <laughs> and then Egg, and then these guys, oh, these guys, man, Khan. <sighs> I mean, I'm I'm sure that nobody's going to, like, I mean, Roundabout is the first person that ever requested Khan, that, as I, I don't remember all the videos that I do, but I'm just going to listen to this by myself, you know, um, yeah, this is good stuff. Okay, so we're going to close it um, with National Health. And then I'm going to add one of mine. Uh, I think I'm going to do some blotted science. It's going to blow you guys away. Let's go.
I'm oh my god, I'm gonna send this to so many people. To all my musician friends. Um so this is more improvisation than I mean, this is a prog. So it says here the Canterbury scene or Canterbury sound was a musical scene. Um it says centered on the city of Canterbury, Kent, England, during the late 1960s and early 70s, associated with progressive rock, the term described a loosely defined improvisational style that blended elements of jazz, rock, and psychedelia totally. That's, yeah, I was like, wow, this is so different. It's very, there's a lot of improvisation going on and good improvisation, like really good. Um, this is so good. Um, I'm just looking for bands. Uh, Gong, Soft Machine, National Health. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Wow. Okay, let's just keep going. This is so good. <laughs> Thank you. 
is so good. So I've read a little bit right now while I was listening about, you know, this style, which is literally the first prog zub genre, uh, prog zub genre Canterbury scene. And uh, there's these bands, uh, basically, you know, Khan and then Gong, Caravan, which I've heard, of course, National Health Soft Machine. So I was like, oh, man, I'm going to do some soft machine. But and then I looked up like, ooh, because I... Basically, Soft Machine is the reason this channel started to begin with, because I uploaded a Soft Machine video, and the guy who owns Soft Machine now basically copyright st struck the channel. We had about 100 subs. And and then, so three three strikes and you're gone forever. So I was like, it had it had taken us a year or so to get 100 subscribers. So I was so devastated that he had struck the channel and we were at a hundred subs i was like oh my god um so now i'm kind of like i don't know i don't want to give him publicity you know everybody knows soft machine and 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 alan holdsworth plays in soft machine on a couple of albums but i don't want to you know i don't want to give him why because he's going to make money off the marathon so i really don't want to do that he was very cold we wrote to him personally and we're like, hey, Mr. So-and-so, sorry, you know, I'd seen the video up um, on, the, on, on the internet, and there's no problem with that channel. Why are you striking our channel? Just because we're small? And he's like, don't upload my stuff, you know? That was, and he's like, can you just make an exception, take off the, the strike, because they're going to, you know, basically close our YouTube channel? No. So I don't want to, you know, I don't want to give him any sort of, you know, uh, free publicity by playing Soft Machine on this marathon. I'd rather do, you know, something who actually deserves, you know, all the attention in the world. And that is Ron Jarzombek. Um, He's an amazing progressive guy. Now, this is obviously not going to be Canterbury. Uh, although, you know, we could just keep it, you know, with the Canterbury stuff. We could play some Caravan. Gong is another band that Holdsworth was involved with. Mm, I don't know. You know what? Let's just keep it simple. I, the Ron Jarzombek, you guys have heard. I've done that. And I guess people are not like the biggest fans of it. It is very out there. You know, let's just play some more. Um, let's play some more Khan. That was amazing. That Khan. Um... Oh, there's only one album. Wait. Um, give me a second. Let's do... What's the thing? Quiet Sun? Yeah, there, here's all, all the bands that are like the style, you know, Canterbury. Um, let's see if this is available. Quiet Sun. On Spotify, let's see. Yes, <laughs> there's I think only that one album that they released. All right, well, let's play Sol Caliente, but that, that's eight minutes. Like, I've, I've already made the marathon quite long. Oh boy, yeah, we're going on 50 minutes. Let's play this RFD. This is Quiet Sun. And let's see what year. 1975. Let's go. Mainstream, the album.
More psychedelic, this one. So this is Phil Manzanera um, and his band Quiet Sun. This was awesome. Um, this was an amazing marathon. Thank you so much again, Roundabout. I hope, you know, we kind of like calmed down the whole thing at the end here with this. Um, this was really cool. Thank you so much for the introduction. Like, I'm just going to like go crazy on this now. I get into it, but, um, yeah, let's see how it does. You know, we have a lot of progressive fans on the channel. Let's see what they say, you know, in the comment section. I know a lot of people will like this. So thank you so, so much for being here for, you know, for liking the videos. Let's get to 82,000 subscribers. And, um, thank you so much for all the support. Thank you. <laughs> Roundabout. I'll see you in the next video.